Now I want to give the oldest movies the platform at the start since they're the ones who laid the foundations that led to the big house being built. Within the history of this house we call horror lives the spectre of controversy. And my first movie of the season was such a major talking point in its day that the star was this house first displayed bust. It shouldn't exist, but thanks to some very careful hands, its longevity was secured. Welcoming to the Centenary Club, F.W. Morneau's Nosferatu. <laughs> We have seen so many different guises of the throughout the last century. They've been played by icons from all over the world. Dracula has been played so many times by legends and cult stars. They all have one particular link. They were performed after the birth of sound. Max Schreck was actually the second to play a vampire in the silent era. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> excuse me. The first being Dracula's Death, a Hungarian production that was co-written by future Hollywood legend Michael Curtiz. Now even though Morneau didn't use the name, the story was the same. Shrek's performance was eerie, methodical, but words didn't matter. The dreamlike imagery captured by DP Fritz Arno Wagner. The Count looking out from his London home. His shadow moving up the stairs. Capturing the protagonist's unearthly movements. The Count rising from his grave has been remade and parodied many times. <laughs> These are reasons why this movie can be described in just one word, iconic. So many directors have cited this as life-changing experiences and have even used excerpts in their own movies. Count Orlock has appeared in modified forms in other projects as well. As I cited earlier regarding controversy, since it was an unauthorized adaptation, Bram Stoker's estate sued the production and won the right to have all prints destroyed. But since this was only implemented in Germany, some prints were secured and secreted out of the country, with one copy finding its way to the United States, where the legend grew. <clears throat> <coughs> For me, I saw it when I was a teenager. I had already grown up on Christopher Lee, Gary Oldman, Chris Sarandon, Kiefer Sutherland. It was like a rites of passage. Seeing the benefits of silent pictures and the importance of German expressionism. And every fan should watch this, preferably on a big screen and the lights off. <laughs> 